Hello everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at how we can change the background of our render in Mudbox. So I've got my planet here. Uh, perhaps before uh, continuing I'll just point out, uh, because we talked about lights in a previous video, uh, remember to really think about the orientation of your light, the position of your light. Uh, Again, if I were to light this straight on like that, that's going to tend to flatten out the modeling and the sculpting. Uh, something that's a little bit more directional like this, where it's coming more from this side over here, uh, this side here, may, or it could be more directional from that side, but uh, because the light isn't hitting it directly straight on, uh, it tends to help define the three-dimensional form better. Okay, so we're going to take a look at how to change the background in our Mudbox scene. And what I need to do is select the camera that I'm currently looking through. You can change your camera by right-clicking in your viewport, switch view, and you can change to your top view, uh, or your side view, and so on. I'm going to switch back to my perspective view, and we're going to change the background for that camera. So here's the camera here, my perspective camera. I'm going to click on this plus symbol here to expand on that, and I'll select image plane. Now that I have image plane selected, I'm going to go to import, and I'll find the image that I want to bring into uh, into my scene. So here it is here, uh, this star field here, the scene of the uh, night sky with stars. And the problem is, of course, that it is hiding our planet right now. So what I'm going to do is come over here to depth and I'll just slide this and bring it back behind the planet. Uh, and then we also want to make it bigger here, so I'll go down to Scale, and it's the X and the Y values here that uh, we need to deal with. It's a, it's a plane, so we don't really have three axes on it. It's a two-dimensional image. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make the scale 2, and I'm going to make this, oh, we'll just say 1.6. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Uh, here to make sure that things don't get stretched. Uh, if you had a square image, you wouldn't have to deal with that. You would be able to just put in the same value for both X and Y. Uh, but here we go. Now we have a background image in our planet scene. I'm going to go ahead and create a render of this. I'll just center my planet a little bit uh, more. And I'll come over here to Render, Create Turntable Movie, Notice, notice this. This shows you a preview and it has my grid in it. I forgot to hide my grid. Let's make sure we hide the grid before we do a render. Uh, I'm simply going to right click in this viewport and say uh, hide grid. We'll check, check the grid so it gets hidden. Uh, this looks a lot better. Uh, return over to render. Create turntable movie. Uh, I'm going to pretty much keep the uh, defaults here. Uh, as far as the number of frames and the size, uh, I will check on anti-alias so that these edges will come out more nicely around my planet here. And that should be good. So we'll go ahead and say create and give it a name. Make sure you know where you're saving it to. And save it. So that's how you can put a background image in your Mudbox scenes. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.